Now let's discuss about the power losses in transformer. Transformer power losses are classified as minor losses and major losses. And the minor losses in transformer are stray load losses and dielectric losses and iron losses and copper losses comes under major power losses in a transformer and of minor losses. Stray load losses are further classified as stray load iron losses and stray load copper losses. And now let's discuss about major losses in a transformer. Iron losses are classified into two types of losses that is hysteresis losses and eddy current losses. Now let's discuss about hysteresis losses. In a magnetic material, under normal condition there will be number of domains which are randomly placed in the matic material and when this matic material is excited from the external source these domains will be aligned in a different direction depending on the excitation so let us suppose that because of the input excitation all the domains are aligned in this particular direction and similarly for another type of excitation the domains will align in a particular direction like this and for another excitation the domains might be aligned in this direction from this you must note that these domains will be aligned in a different direction depending on the excitation and for their alignment they will consume some power and that power consumed is called as hysteresis loss that is power consumed for alignment of domains in a particular direction is called hysteresis loss as the input to the transformer is AC and let us consider 50 H frequency input to the transformer so for every cycle there is one positive half cycle and one negative half cycle so for positive half cycle input to the transformer the domains in the transformer core will align in a particular direction let us suppose this and for negative half cycle these domains direction must be changed let us suppose to this direction means for one cycle these reversals of domains must happen and for these reversals they require some power that power consumed here is called as hysteresis loss we see in the BH characteristics of transformer like this and these BH characteristics are drawn for one cycle of the input so for 50 h frequency input to the transformer we are having 50 cycles per second means the domains in the transformer core must get reversed 50 times per second and we can find out the hysteresis losses by steenmage formula which is w h is equal to eta into b max power x into f into v where Eta represents the Steenmates constant and uh, Bmax is the maximum flux density and F is the frequency and V is volume. As transformer core is made up of CRGO steel, for CRGO steel axes are having a value of 1.6. And this hysteresis loss for one cycle is equal to area enclosed by this BH curve for one cycle which means that this is the area enclosed by the BH characteristics for one cycle which is equal to the WH for one cycle means for f is equal to 1 and the number of bh loops depends on the input supply frequency so for 50h input we get 50 enclosed bh loops during the operation of transformer 
as we know that induced emf is equal to 4.44 phi f n from which we get the relation phi is directly proportional to v by f so during the operation of transformer if v by f ratio is maintained constant that is if b is constant then from this relation wh is equal to eta into b max power x into f into v where eta is constant and uh, volume v is constant and here b is considered constant means b max is also constant which means that hysteresis losses is directly proportional to the frequency and uh, the second case if v by f ratio is variable that is it is not constant that is b is variable then as we know that wh is equal to eta b max power x f into v let us consider crg was steel which means x is equal to 1.6 that implies wh is equal to eta into b power 1.6 max into f into v and that is equal to eta into in place of b let's write v by f so whole power 1.6 f into v that implies wh is equal to eta into v power 1.6 pi f power 1.6 into f into v which implies hysteresis losses is directly proportional to v power 1.6 pi f power 0.6 and next eddy current losses which are directly proportional to the conductivity of core material so to have less eddy current losses we need to decrease the conductivity of core material that is we need to increase the resistivity of core material and that is done by adding 3 to 4 percentage of silicon in core material that is 3 to 4 percentage of silicon in crgo material but adding 3 to 4 percentage of silicon content to the crgo steel will not reduce the eddy current losses to much extent and eddy current losses are reduced to much extent by laminating the core so to have less eddy current losses we need to decrease the conductivity or increase the resistivity of core material and uh, eddy current losses are much reduced by laminating the core and eddy current losses w is equal to k into b max square f square into t square where t represents the thickness of the lamination and k is constant so during operation of transformer if v by f ratio is constant that is if b is constant then eddy current losses so if b is constant the other constants are here k and t therefore if b is constant w is directly proportional to frequency square and secondly if v by f ratio is not constant that is variable that is b is variable which implies w is equal to k into b max square f square into t square in place of b let's take v by f so v by f whole square f square into t square which implies here f square f square gets cancelled and now w e is directly proportional to v square therefore if v by f ratio is not maintained constant then eddy current losses are independent of frequency now let's summarize this during the operation of transformer if v by f ratio is constant then hysteresis losses is directly proportional to frequency and eddy current losses is directly proportional to square of the frequency and if v by f ratio is variable then hysteresis losses is directly proportional to v power 1.6 by f power 0.6 and eddy current losses is directly proportional to v square and as these hysteresis losses and eddy current losses depends on the input voltage 
so as input voltage is maintained constant so these losses comes under constant losses